Hi Leo, welcome to Buddy Tarot. This is going to be your reading from the 18th to the 24th of September 2023. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. One more shuffle. So Leo, this looks like a great, great week up ahead for you so far. You know, with the star, you're coming in with a lot of healing and feeling hopeful about a situation, um, really uh, coming out in your uh, true skin, feeling comfortable with who you are. And there is a certain level of vulnerability and honesty that uh, you're showing up in. Um, you know, the star is a great energy to be in and perhaps you're finding your purpose um, from wherever you are, you know. And also the star is uh, related to, you know, it's it's related to the super conscience as in uh, it's a super conscience energy. So it, it tells us of our, uh, of our role in the universe. So this is a very deep energy that uh, you're experiencing in the coming week. Now the person you're dealing with is showing up as the Hierophant. So... There is someone fairly important, very important in your energy. Uh, to me, the Hierophant is like a, a high commitment contract. So it could be just work that you're committed to or someone in your personal life that you're committed to, you know, something that means a lot. So with, with the energy that you're dealing with, it seems like, it seems like there's some kind of healing or hope that is coming about, um, there is some kind of hope and there's healing occurring when it comes to you and a certain person uh, that are bound in a high level contract and the mutual energy between the two of you is the three of cups so there is a sense of coming together fun times maybe you know dinners or parties if if it's not if if you're not that kind of a social being and you and this person are not the type to go out and party. This is just a sense of coming together, peace and abundance. All right, Leo. So let's get clarifiers. We start with the star. So for the star, we get your energy, the strength, the seven of cups, and the knight of wands. So Leo, it's been difficult to remain hopeful about, you know, the situation that you're dealing with. But with the strength, it seems like you're overcoming, you, know, you have, or you are overcoming, you know, whatever stops you from being hopeful about this situation with the seven of cups there could be a bit of confusion about how hopeful you can be about the situation or maybe what are the options or you know see the star is a major arcana all right so the, the universe is bringing in this energy but in your everyday actions you know monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday like week to week so there's some there's some confusion in in which direction you should go towards with the with the seven of cups and the knight of wands it's like you're ready to explore whatever options it takes you know or whatever the suitable options are it seems like you're open to them all but you got to be careful about what option you choose in order to stay in this hopeful energy because there are snakes and 
some of the options may not be good for you. So it looks like you're working on something. There could be mixed emotions also about, you know, the healing that's coming about and the fact that you're feeling hopeful about a situation. Maybe you had lost hope previously, but now you're feeling hopeful, which is why the Seven of Cups is showing up. So there could be some kind of confusion around this. Uh, let's look at the Hierophant. With the Knight of Wands, you're definitely looking at some kind of movement. Uh, you know, maybe well, you could be just simply exploring your options with other people. If this is just dating, then you have a lot of options. Uh, Leo. Alright, so let's look at the Hierophant. For the Hierophant, we get the Hierophant again, the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like the energy that you're dealing with, uh, Leo, they're kind of making a choice. Uh, this person that you've been, this person that you're dealing with, whoever this is, whether it's at work or a personal commitment, uh, this person has been juggling a lot of things, you know, and uh, kind of ki has kind of been walking on a tight rope when it comes to keeping things together. It's been difficult for this person, but it looks like this person is kind of with the Ace of Pentacles. This person could be starting afresh, starting a new cycle. I don't know if this is Ace of Pentacles is, there is an opportunity for this person to start a new cycle and this is in relation to you, but I don't know if this person would take it because you see their hands are full. And there is an offer from the divine, which is a brand new, uh, cycle of stability but I'm not sure if this person would be able to take it now let's look at the three of cups as in your mutual energy Why the Three of Cups? We get the Lovers. King of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles. So yeah, this is really great energy between you and this person. With the Lovers, you know, as this person is important this person is a soulmate and with the king of pentacles and the three of cups it looks like somebody is coming in with a lot of stability in this connection now i don't know whether it's you or the other person but there is abundance and uh, someone is really willing the king of pentacles and the six of pentacles this is a very charitable energy it's like either you or your person or the both of you because this is mutual you know, are willing to give your time, effort, energy towards this connection, share your resources, you know, invest. And this is bringing in a sense of, you know, abundance and a sense of coming together. Other than the Seven of Cups here, which is a bit confusing, uh, I'm not sure, Leo, what the Seven of Cups and Knight of Wands is about. Uh, it seems like there is a situation of, uh, for you, a, a higher level commitment situation, work or personal life, that is taking a positive turn and there is potential for things to get better. So Leo, this is what I have for you. I hope this helped. Uh, if you're still watching, thank you for your patience. Three of Cups underneath the deck. Uh, thank you for watching, sharing, liking and subscribing. And uh, 
um, have a ha happy fun week ahead and I will catch you again soon later. Bye.